right here is the number one strawweight contender. She is set for this title fight here tonight. Certainly deserves this opportunity, but confidence has never been an issue. She believes for a while she has been the best 115er on the roster, and tonight she can leave as the champion, and she is looking to do just that here in a matter of moments. Excited to see how this one plays out. So much depth now at 115 pounds, but they're all still chasing her. Yeah, they are, the undisputed UFC strawweight champion. And she's got the confidence that belies the champion. As you see her make this walk here tonight, she won the belt with flying colors, defended it with style points, and that's the same goal here tonight. She really is a fighter that maintains a calm demeanor, takes it fight by fight. She has aspirations to be the greatest of all time. She is well on her way. And now our tale of the tape for this strawweight championship fight. Two years apart, these two fighters with similar height and reach. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Levin. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC strawweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist holding professional record on 10 wins, four losses. She stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Fighting out of Denver, Colorado, presenting the challenger, Fog Rose Narayunas. And now, introducing the champion, Fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist holding professional record on. 21 wins, one loss. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC strawweight champion of the world, Wayley. UFC belt on the line. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Goodbye to your pain. Are you ready? Are you ready? Dateline, Las Vegas, Nevada. This is the fight capital of the world. With respect to anywhere else you want to go, if I'm a fighter, if I'm an athlete in combat sports, this is where I want to compete. You want to fight in Vegas, and now this beautiful T-Mobile Arena is the backdrop of tonight's great UFC event. Educated jab right there from Zhang Wei Li. This is, oh, that's a nice scramble by her there. Nice punch lands over the top. Just misses with a left hook there. Right hand punch from the clinch. Way to hide that leg kick. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed with that one. And they separate. Trying to kick the leg out. Oh, and she connects there. Beautiful punch. 
great punch, but what's next? What is she going to use to follow it up? Oh, how good was that right hand? Beautiful connection by her there. Right down the pipe and right on the chin. Oh, the right hand is there for Battle for position here. Look at that switch knee. Beautiful switch knee. Again, back into this position. Big body kick land. All right, so once again, no surprise. She shoots for a takedown here. Maybe somewhat surprising that she hasn't been able to take her down with much consistency. In the build-up to the fight, she said, there's no way my opponent can stop me from securing takedowns. Well, to this point, she was very wrong. Oh, she is wearing it. Bleeding from her cheek now. Level double leg takedown. That's her best shot. Good again. All right, half guard position for her here, and this is a spot where we've seen her have a lot. Zhang's looking for that arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Oh, man, that was slick. Oh, nice job by her there. You see how strong she is. Her opponent's trying to control posture, unable to do so. Now she can get to work and put the money in the bank with that ground and pound. Money in the bank. So the numbers continuing to pile up here. 33 total strikes have landed for Wei Li Zhang. Nice. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, beautiful connection by her on that punch. She's so fast when she throws. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown, D? Left hand punch from the clinch. Right hand punch from the clinch. Again, she chooses to clinch here. Nama Yunus's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. There's no give on that leg kick. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. And they separate. Well placed kick there by Nama Yunus. Oh, nice right hand by Rose. Back and forth we go. All right, so again, the fighters clinch here. Kind of had an inkling we'd find ourselves back in this situation. Absolutely. Both of these fighters love fighting chest to chest. The uglier the fight, the better. Powerful leg kick land. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed with that one. Oh, she works the body as well as anybody in this division. Another strike there, and these shots are really going to take their toll as this fight moves on. 30 seconds to go. All right, so once again, they will clinch, and we will see which fighter is able to advance their position from here. Who's going to be the first one to attempt the takedown? Both of our combatants have the ability to score and secure the position. Who's going to be the one that makes the first move? Final seconds here in round one. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, great round it was. Let's take a look back at some of the highlights, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, a lot for the replay guys to choose from. But, John, it's going to be mostly kicks. Right. She landed them over and over again, found her target, locked in on it, and drove her shin right through her opponent's body. That was a great display of kicking in the UFC. All right, here we go with our next round. I know you said off the top she might have the best kicking game in this division. And if the previous round is any indication, those words, I think, are pretty true. John, honestly, watching after that round, it feels like she may have the best kicking game in the whole UFC. Wow. Because her opponent has not been able to see or stop any of them. Why would she not continue down this path? What a punch. Oh, she's got the right hand going tonight, DC. She's in a great flow, and she's throwing from her dominant side to land that great strike. 
Big leg kick. Whoa! Oh, she went down and lands the diving punch to the head. Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Well, she's landed some good shots, but kind of point fighting a little bit, right? Nothing in terms of combinations. And that's the problem. When you start point fighting and you're jabbing and it's landing, if your opponent's landing more dominant strikes, you run the risk of the judge scoring for them. Right. Get in there, stick your nose in the fight. Don't be afraid to get a little bit dirty. Well, the full arsenal on display here, 78 total strikes which have landed for Wei Li Zhang. Well, hitting on one out of every two, landing with 50% accuracy tonight against Rose Namajunas. Big punch land. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Zhang's knee to the body. That one was blocked. Big oh. knee lands there. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Three minutes and change to go in round two. Big head kick lands. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. Oh, nice job to get the guard up there as the strike is blocked by Zhang Weili. Nice job. All right, so she goes for the double leg takedown here, DC, and she is able to secure. All right, she's going for the arm bar here. And attack an arm bar. Oh, slams her to the ground, so she appeared to be fending off the arm bar. And then she just used her power and exploded her opponent down to the ground. Well, she was long on grappling experience coming into the UFC, and you see her chops here. Just beautiful when it comes to the transition. Game. It's very difficult to keep up with her on the ground. Oh, man, that cut is nasty. Oh, her ground and pound is downright scary in constant pursuit of the finish. Might get it here. She does a really good job of throwing punches with intent. She never just throws just to be thrown. Every punch is meant to land, and every punch is meant to start a finish. Just missed with the left there. Wayley gets in the clinch yet again. Man, she might punch harder than you. Nice connection there. Yeah, I don't know about that, John, but she is a fast, accurate striker. When you're in the clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Well, that left hand has been there for her tonight, not on that attempt. Nice uppercut. Man, high volume of strikes in this round as she continues to land and pour it on. It's amazing that she has been able to maintain this aggression with her striking throughout this fight. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Dig and kick. Grips the body there. I need you to pay attention. Protect yourself. Look for your shot. Trying to establish that jab once again. Nice, great shot, great shot. Keep Throws the punch there and connects. Nice job by her there. Nice job, nice punch. Oh, nice jab. The round is over, and the cut on the lip is only getting worse. She is certainly going to need stitches after the fight. For now, though, the focus mentally is on keeping this fighter in the fight and for the cut man trying to seal that thing up and prevent it from becoming even more of a factor than it already is. All right, five minutes in the books as we take a look at the replays from that previous round. She can punch with anybody in this division. Yeah, with the best in this division and the best in any sport. She's a fantastic boxer, and you can see it in the amount of punches 
that she landed in that previous round. Well, pretty good showcase for these two women in the previous round as our next round gets underway. Some risk management in the previous five minutes there. This is a big moment for both of these fighters. Somebody is really gonna have to make a decision that they are the one that's gonna get their hand raised. The previous round was way too close. Well, how impressive is this young woman? High volume of strikes in the previous round and picking up exactly where she left off here and not really showing any signs of slowing down. She looks like she could go 10 hard fives tonight if need be. Nice kick. All right, so once again, the fighters engage in the clinch. We'll see who will have the upper hand here, champ. There are so many options to dictate and control this exact position. Who is gonna take advantage of it? Leg kick. Well, oh, she is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's gonna finish oh. the fight. Oh, oh! Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. How good is her movement here on the ground? Right, Shit. Zhang's looking for an arm bar here. Attack an arm bar. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Nicely done. Well, she did not miss a single grappling practice during this training camp, and Here's your evidence, outstanding movement on the ground. She looks like a master of grappling with the great movement that she's showing on the ground. So the unofficial numbers, 123 total strikes. Oh. You can never know what you're gonna see with this young lady. Is she gonna finish the fight? Zhang's strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. There's no tell on that leg kick. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Oh, nice jab to the dome by Jean. Big kick lands. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, she is absolutely getting lit up right now. She has certainly changed her approach here in the latter stages of this. Davis is her bad. Nice combination there by Sean Whaley. Oh, pretty good series of punches by her there. She certainly has found the range early tonight. She can box with anybody in the world, and she's showing that tonight. And she connects with a punch there. We'll see if she can follow it up now. She's been landing at a super high rate. She's in a great flow right now. While we sat down with her on Thursday, she said it's all coming together, and she has... Whoa! Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Trying to stay in this fight! Man, look at the redness appearing on the left side of her body there. That's starting to Double really add leg up. leg takedown is true. Oh, high elbow guillotine. Watch guillotine. She is just non-stop on the ground, moving in all the right directions. Another nice transition by her there. She's moving a lot, but every movement has purpose. Oh, and she's back up again. Under a minute now to go in the round. Great punch landed with so much power. Very nice leg kick there by Jean. All right, both women now continuing to try to get a more dominant position here in the clinch. I can hear Dominic Cruz just screaming underhooks. My ears are bleeding a little bit. Yeah, underhook, underhook, underhook. It's the key in that position. You gotta control the underhook to win offensively and control the underhook if you're trying to escape defense. Oh! in this division get knocked out by that strike. Near perfect execution. She found a little crack in the defense and found a home for that strike. Landed flush 
And that is another one for the highlight reel, but few prettier than that one as she gets the big knockout win here tonight. All right, we take a look back at some of the pictures from this one, and she had it all going on tonight, but certainly her boxing was on point. Her boxing always is what allows her to dictate the pace of fights. Finally, she landed the strike that ended the night of her opponent. And ladies and gentlemen, ladies there and she gentlemen, is, the UFC the Women's Strawweight Champion. The celebration is on after the knockout the win under the bright lights tonight. Oh wait, Queen.